Hello everybody, good evening and welcome to another session with me Varun Rao on Tech Tablet. And in today's session, we would be looking at the next part of tables, that is how to add another couple of fields, followed by how to create entries, you know, how to add values into your table. This is what we would be looking at, all right? And in that parlance, the aim of the session would be to look at SE11 and how to create fields to understand the concept of domains and data element and to create entries in your table. Now, this is for beginners and for people who are just you know, planning to step in, step up into the SAP uh, software side uh, post their graduation or probably their post graduation and are looking for a job into it, right? So this is to give you a basic idea uh, as to what SAP development paradigm would look like and to give you a feel of the same, right? And if you're looking uh, for any further or in depth of, of training on the same module, you can always write to us or we would really love it if you could enjoy the sessions which are being posted out of passion to help at least a few out there, if not for all. Okay, so let us just begin with it. Now this is the T code area that I have as we all know it and SE11 is the T code. So SE11 would bring up the data dictionary for me, right? And here uh, we've created a table in the last session that is said EMP details too, right? So, okay, I don't think it is this that we've created. Is it employee details? Okay, it says this also does not exist. Mm. Okay, great. So I think uh, the server has been refreshed. So what we'll do is let us quickly go ahead and create a table with the name Z EMP. All right. And here, uh, let us just quickly create two fields. And what we'll do is let us also, uh, you know, add some table entries to this. So the it would be employee information right the delivery class as we know it we would be selecting it to a and this would be allowed now let us quickly add some fields like employee name um okay let's add the employee id here rather and we can make it the key field right and here i think this should do it okay i think this has not this has also been removed so let us create a new data element with the name z emp id one so this would be employee id all right now let us give it a data type A domain is now to be defined. We'll give it a character set and the number of characters could probably be five okay, because I don't think we would be having uh, you know, anything more than you know, five to six alphabets or, or you know, five to six, six digits to be honest. So that should do the job. So now let me activate this quickly. The object has been activated. Now let us activate this also. See, as I told you uh, in, in the last session while we were creating another table, it's very important that we activate each and every data element each and every time. Right, so now we have the employee ID. Um, next, let me also create an employee name field. All right, and this would be the name. Uh, let's keep it as the name one. Now this is to be created. This can again be the same Z name one. Employee name. Now this would create a domain for us, all right? Uh, and as we know, domain and data element, they would carry the technical configuration of your field. So it's very important that you give them uh, the required, uh, you, you, give, you give them very specific 
uh, data, all right? This is also character set. And the number of characters, because it's a name, we can give it 10 digits. I just now activate this to the local object. The same should be done here also. And now let's go back. Okay, just one last field. Okay, employee age. Uh, we can do Z employee age. Right, so we'll be creating three fields. Uh, because this is to be in numbers, right? We'll keep this as num c. Okay. <clears throat> because age can only be in numbers right and it can only be a, a two digit number so that's what we will be doing now right seems fine let's check this okay done this activated so now we have all our uh, fields the three fields active so i don't think that should be a problem anymore great so we have three fields now that we know the thing is active let me just go ahead and check the table okay it says the enhancement category is missing so now let us define the enhancement uh, category and where would we find that the enhancement category we would find that in extras and we would have the enhancement category written over here so we would be marking that to can be enhanced, right? So now let us check this. Okay, there are no inconsistencies. I'm getting this activated, so let's give it a data class. And let me also give it a size category. Great, so now I don't think there should be any more errors. It's done with. We have now created uh, our table with three output fields. So now what we'll do is, let us just go ahead and add some entries into it. So how do we do it? In order to do that, we'll have to go to utilities and you would be ha having something called as table contents wherein you would be finding create entries. So you can always click on this and when you do that, you would be able to see the fields that you have uh, against boxes so you know your employee id is the key field so it, that's the reason why it's in blue color and the other two are the fields so let us give an employee id of 100 employee name of varun and age as 27 all right now i would have to go ahead and save this so now it's saying my database record uh, has been created successfully, right? So that is something that it's you know, assuring me my, my system. So now what I'll have to do, how do I check if this is created or not? So let me just go back. And here in the table, as we are able to see, we have something called as uh, contents here. So let me just click on this contents and you have the fields with the entry boxes, the parameter boxes. Now let me just click on execute. So you would be able to see all the entries. Now, if, if I create another entry, uh, if I want to create another entry, let me go to utilities, table content, create entries. Now this time it would be 200, uh, you know, probably some Thomas, whose age is 25 save it and let's again go back to the table check the contents once again 
And when you click on execute all, you would be able to see both um, Varun and Thomas, all records. All right. And if there's any specific record you're looking for, then you can just try 200 and click on execute. And this would get you only the single record that you're searching for. So you have uh, different ways to you know search and juggle and get the, the required thing. In the next video, we will also be looking at what a table maintenance generator is and we'll uh, take this a step forward. Right, so this is how we work on a table and we create a field in SC11. Um, and I hope you have also understood the concept of domains and data element as this is a takeover of the uh, previous session. And we have also seen how to create new entries and check them in your table for an output, right? So I hope you have enjoyed watching this session and if you liked it, uh, then we would uh, ask you to you know hit the like button as it would encourage us to do further and if there's any queries that you have uh, or if there's you know, anything that you want that you would like to know about the training uh, you, you you have the comment section below please make use of it and if you're looking for regular updates and notifications on the same you can always hit the follow uh, and the subscribe button and if you feel it might use be, be of any use to anyone please hit the share and it, 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 it would really be amazing if you if, if it could help at least a few who's looking for something out there right and i hope you enjoyed watching this session and learned something new uh, on the next one we would be looking at reports as well as table maintenance generator which is not mentioned here so do stay subscribed to this channel tech tablet as there is a lot of knowledge yet to be exchanged between us and there is a lot of stuff yet to be seen and covered so thanks a lot for being there have a great day and all the very best